I'm now going to take you through some advanced settings to help you further customise and update your terminal mix. Make sure that all software is closed during these procedures. To adjust the brightness of all of the LEDs on your terminal mix, simply hold down the tracks encoder together with the back button and the prep button whilst powering up the unit. You will now see that all LEDs on the terminal mix are lit up. The tracks encoder can then be turned to set the LEDs to one of four levels of brightness. To save your personal preference, push the tracks encoder and after a couple of seconds, the terminal mix will restart automatically. The touch sensitivity of the jog wheels can also be adjusted to your liking for each side independently. This time, hold down the tracks encoder together with the crates button and the back button and then power up your terminal mix. Now if you turn the loop move encoder, you're able to choose a sensitivity value between 1 and 10 indicated by the position of the LED in either the loop, hot cue or sample section of your terminal mix. If I turn the loop move encoder to the highest sensitivity value represented by the loop in button, you can see that the jog mode button lights up without me even touching the platter. And if I select the lowest sensitivity value, represented by sample button 4, the jog wheel touch is completely deactivated. We recommend a middle sensitivity value, which the terminal mix is set to by default. To save your chosen sensitivity value, hit the tracks encoder and the terminal mix will restart again automatically. To check which version of the firmware is currently installed in your terminal mix, simply hold down the tracks encoder together with the crates button and the view button and again power up your terminal mix. You should now see that some of the buttons are lit up. The hot cue buttons represent the values 10, 20, 30 and 40 and the transport buttons below represent the values 1 to 9. In this case I have hot cue 1 lit up which is 10 and 7 transport buttons which means I have version 17 of the firmware installed as 10 plus 7 is 17. Please refer to the Reloop product page to check whether a firmware update is necessary. If so, download the appropriate firmware update here, including the latest Java update. When the files have been downloaded, double check that all software is closed. Now, hold down the tracks encoder together with the load 1 and load 2 buttons and then power up your terminal mix. Your device will start up in firmware upgrade mode and you'll see an LED sequence going from left to right. Now open the Java update tool which you downloaded earlier. Click on open file and navigate to the downloaded firmware update file. Select it, click open and press start to begin the firmware update process. As the terminal mix is updating, you'll see the progress displayed by the hotkey buttons lighting up from left to right. When the update is complete, the terminal mix will restart automatically and you'll also see a pop-up message on your computer screen confirming that the update was successful.